Hello friend! To remind you what a beautiful and unique flower you are in this garden of life, we have a gorgeous crochet shawl design for you today named Lily. This design was inspired by sun-warmed mornings, digging in the garden soil, planting seeds that are going to lay dormant for a time, but then sprout into radiant beauty with just a little bit of tender care. This Lily design encompasses all of that inspiration in an easy, beginner level, wearable shawl that you can customize to make as unique as you are. This shawl features two different repeating sections. So it's got this beautiful floral motif here in this lacy area, and you can see the gorgeous little flowers in there. And this solid section here grounds your design and it resembles the stems on your flowers. One thing that I really love about this design is you can adjust the width and the length super easily. If you want more of a scarf, you can make it thinner, you can make it longer or shorter, you can make it wider, make more of a throw, it is totally up to you. Today I want to show you two different options for this design. This first version used our Amphitrite color and we only used two skeins. So this is a nice shawl size, you can wear it like a shawl, you can also scrunch it up and wear it more like a scarf. Now this version is a gradient of three different colors, this is our Melody Dora Hughes gradient set and we did make this one a little bit wider so you can still wear it as a shawl you could also use it as a throw and toss it onto your couch the shimmer and drape in this shawl design comes from our pearlescent fingering weight yarn which has 550 yards per skein so you can make a decent sized project out of just two or three skeins as you can see from these examples today i'm going to be showing you how to crochet this shawl for the particulars on each of these options shown today you definitely want to download the pdf you can get that at expressionfiberarts.com and of course we will put the link in the description for you. We're going to go ahead and start with some foundation triple crochets today. So let me show you how you work those. To work a foundation triple crochet, also called a treble crochet, you're going to begin with a slip knot and you're going to go ahead and pop that onto your hook. And we're going to work chain five. Two, three, four, five. Now you're going to yarn over twice and you're going to insert your hook into the very first chain that you worked. Go ahead and yarn over and pull up a loop and you should have four loops on your hook at this point. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through one loop. So this counts as a chain. Now we're going to work our triple crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's our first chain and triple crochet. And this initial chain over here does count as one as well. Now to work another one, you're gonna yarn over twice. Now you wanna rotate your work and here on the bottom, you're gonna see this little chain here that we worked and you're gonna insert your hook under both legs of that stitch. Now let's repeat, yarn over and pull through. Now we want to create a chain, so yarn over and pull through one. So that's a little chain here. We're creating chains here on the bottom and triple crochets here on top of those. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So there's another chain and triple crochet. Let me show you again, yarn over twice, turn your work, Find the next chain, the one you just worked, and insert your hook under both legs of that chain. Yarn over, pull through once. Now create a chain by working a yarn over and pulling through one stitch. And then work your triple crochet by working yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. And continue in that manner. Now we're gonna start with row one, and this is where we begin the lacy floral part of our shawl. We're gonna start row one with a chain six. Three, four, five, six. And we're gonna work a triple crochet into the same first stitch right here. And that chain six counts as a triple crochet and a chain two. Now you're gonna work a chain three, two, 
three, and you're gonna skip four stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Skip, 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 single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're gonna repeat across the row, chain three, one, two, three, skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna work a V stitch into that fifth stitch. To work a V stitch, start with a triple crochet in that stitch, and then you're gonna work a chain five, two, three, four, five, and then a triple crochet into that same stitch. And that is how you make a V stitch. Once you've worked that, you're gonna chain three, and you're gonna skip four stitches again and single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the repeat you will work across your row. One, two, three, four, single crochet into that next stitch. So I'm already at the end of my row. So when you do get to the end, you're gonna finish with a chain three and you're gonna skip three stitches. One, two, three. And you're gonna work a triple crochet into that final stitch, which just so happens to be those chains there on the end. And then a chain two and then another triple crochet into that same final edge stitch. And that completes row one. Row number two is similar to row one. We're gonna continue on with the lacy section. For row two, let's go ahead and start with a chain one and then single crochet into this first stitch. Now work a chain three, two, three, and you're gonna work a V stitch into the next single crochet, which is over here. So a V stitch again is a triple crochet a chain five, three, four, five, and then another triple crochet into that same stitch. Now, we're gonna repeat across our row, chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space, which is right here. Chain three, one, two, three, V stitch in the next single crochet. So that is the repeat that you're gonna work all the way across your row until you reach the end. So again, a V stitch is triple crochet, chain five, and triple crochet into that same stitch. When you've worked that and you're to the end of your row, you're gonna finish with a chain three and single crochet into this final chain six space, which is over here on the end. And row two is done. Now let me show you how to work row three. Row three begins with a chain six, three, four, five, six, and that does count as a triple crochet plus a chain two. Then you're gonna work a triple crochet into this same edge stitch, like so. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and work a single crochet into the next chain five space, which is over here. Now you're gonna repeat across your row, chain three, one, two, and three, V-stitch in the next single crochet. So we're gonna jump over here to this single crochet and work a V-stitch, just like we've been doing three, four, five chains, work another triple crochet into that same stitch to complete our V. Then we're gonna chain three and single crochet in the next chain five space, which is over here on the V stitch from the previous row. So repeat that across your row till you get to the end. When you are to the end, you're gonna finish with a chain three and you're gonna work a triple crochet into this last stitch here on the edge. And then a chain two. And go ahead and finish off that row by working another triple crochet into that same edge stitch. And row three is complete. For rows four through 47, you're gonna repeat rows two and three.
Now we're gonna finish up the lacy section with row 48. For row 48, you're gonna begin with a chain one and you're gonna work a single crochet in that very first stitch. Now, what you're gonna repeat across your row is chain four, two, three, four, single crochet in the next single crochet. So that's all the way over here, nice little jump. Then you're gonna chain four, two, three, four, and work a single crochet into the next chain five space, which is right here in that V-stitch from the previous row. So repeat that all the way across your row. When you do get to the end, you're going to work a chain four and single crochet in the next single crochet, which is over here. And then finish off with a chain three and a single crochet into that edge, chain six on the end. And that is row 48. Now that we've finished up the lacy section, we're gonna move on to the more solid section of our shawl. So let's go ahead and get started with row one. For row one of the solid section, we're gonna begin with a chain four, and that does count as a triple crochet. Next, you're gonna work three triple crochets into the chain three space. There's one. We're gonna work another one. So there's two and then go ahead and work one more into that chain three space. So it should look like this so far. Now you're gonna work a triple crochet into the next single crochet, which is right here. Now, what you're gonna repeat across your row is four triple crochets into the chain four space. So let's go ahead and work that. There's one. and then two, keep on going. You're gonna get really good at working your triple crochets on this row, because you've got a lot of them coming up. Four, and then you're going to work a triple crochet into the next single crochet. So that is the repeat that you're gonna work across your row, and you can see how it's forming a nice solid look that we can build a good foundation on. So work four triple crochets into the next chain space and a triple crochet into the next single crochet once you finish those and just repeat that all the way across your row. All right, you're gonna finish up your row by working a triple crochet in that final stitch. And this is what you should be looking at. Now we're gonna work row two, which is predominantly triple crochets across the row. Row two is a nice easy row. You're gonna begin with a chain four and this does count as a triple crochet. Now you're just gonna work a triple crochet in each stitch across. Make sure you skip that very first one this time and start in the second one, since this chain counts as the first stitch. So just work one triple crochet in each stitch across your row. Now, when you do get to the very end, make sure that you work your final triple crochet into this edge stitch here and that's those chains on the end and it should be looking like this for you now for rows three through seven you're just going to repeat row two so that is how you work the two sections of this shawl so you just repeat those throughout your shawl as many times as you like making the pattern the size that you prefer so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial remember today that you are a precious unique flower there has never been and there never will be another you and the gifts that you bring to the world cannot be replicated so remember today that you're a treasure you're a blessing and you are so so loved and so so needed in this world bloom today for all the world to see in whatever way that may mean to you thank you for joining me and i'm gonna see you next time bye for now it looks like two things one it looks like a peace sign yeah it does or it looks like those yes. blocks that yeah. you draw. The to... tessellation blocks. Yeah. Okay. The cubes. Yes, cubes. It's um, <clears throat> these like five points. And this solid section here grounds your design and it... Um, his, um, hmm. So you could... I'm sorry. A little bit more... Okay. A little bit narrower of a... Sorry. Wait, did I say that? Oh, tutorial to that for you. For that to you. To that for you flower stems in your garden. Sorry, I forgot. I can't remember audioly.
<coughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs>